Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a little cooking. We're going to bake a chicken, Chef Shaber style. Stay tuned, I'll show you how, how we're going to do it. Okay guys, this is what we've got here. We've got like a four or five pound chicken, maybe four pound. Um, I'm going to try something a little different. It's supposed to work um, pretty well. So I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. Now what, what I've got in here is my spices. I'm going to make a little rub. And I'm going to rub it with this extra virgin olive oil there. But I made a little rub. I've got uh, basil. I've got... Uh, what else do I have? Mm. I've got a little uh, thyme. I've got some basil, some thyme leaves. I've got salt, uh, fresh ground black pepper from peppercorns. I've got a little garlic powder in here, not a lot. I've got some seasoned salt, and I've got a little bit of lemon pepper in here. That's going to be our little rub. Because I'm using lemon, so I don't want to go overboard on the lemon pepper. Okay, now first, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. And we're going to, if my shears will shear this, we're going to cut the backbone out of this. So it should come right through here. Okay, so let's give it a shot and see what happens. Now, I've never done it like this before, so, but they say this is a really, a really good way to do this. So, what you want to do is get right up, go right up the backbone. Uh, my shears aren't that great. They're actually a little too small. Some guys, they'll use serrated knives. But this seems to be working pretty good. Okay. Alright. There's one half of it. Like I said, I seen a guy do this on YouTube today, and uh, looked pretty pretty tasty. So I thought since we couldn't do it outside, we'll do something different in here. So I think a dog with shears. But anyway, there's that knife. Now, I told you guys, now I'm going to save this. I'm going to make, um, with this and the innards, I'm going to boil some water, and that's what I'm going to make my stock for my noodles with. So I'm just going to set this aside. Okay. Uh, now, I brined this. But before you cook anything like this, guys, what you're going to want to do is... Uh, you can pull this stuff out if you want, but you want to you want to leave it set at room temperature. All right, so I did that um, after I brined it, uh, 40, 45 minutes. Let it get down to room temperature. It'll cook uh, really even. It'll make for a nice even cook or a, a nice even bake. Okay, so. Now, of course, this stuff don't have to all come out, but you can if you want. If you're in the healthy, you can take the skin off. It's up to you guys. Um, just get creative with it. All right. Now, also, when I dried this, I just pat it dry. Don't rub it. You just pat it. So, all right. So, first, let's get, um, first what I've got to do is I've got to get up inside here. Okay. Now, what some people do is they'll use a spatula and try to get up in there and try to you try to get that uh, the skin free from the breast from the breast meat. Now sometimes 
it can be a little finicky but it's well worth it when you do this okay and I'll show you so you get down in there that one wasn't too bad so alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this is half a stick of butter so I'm not gonna need a whole stick on each side so I'm just going to use a half a stick and then I'm going to cut it just like that and I'm going to shove this down in there just like this that down in there keeps the juices nice and see that all right now let's um let's go ahead and add our rub no first almost forgot guys we're just going to drizzle, oh, I don't know, some people use a tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever, whatever you want. And then just, you can use butter on this too, as well, or you can use uh, regular cooking oil, you know, it, it, it's your creation, you know, have fun with it, take off with it, okay? Let's do this. Now we're going to take our, our rub and kind of just dump it on there for now because we're just going to rub it all in and when it's all this that's laying down in here won't hurt a thing because that that'll be really good when you go to make your gravy so but I'm not teaching how to make gravy today I'm just kind of sharing uh, how I season and a new style of uh, well maybe not you guys you guys might have already know about it but to me a new way of baking this bird so oh and I forgot to tell you what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to oops too much oil what you you just grab it and you feel that breastbone break right there there it is okay you want to break that so it there it goes so it lays flat all right now get this back up in here Now you can tie these off if you want to. What I normally do is just kind of stick them down under there a little bit. But this is what I'm going to do with my onions. I'm going to put some onions there. And also these onions and lemons that I'm putting on here. See these I've already squeezed out because I don't want to over overpower it with the lemon. But I do want the citrus to help make it more, it'll be more, not only flavorable, but the citrus is like an acid. It will help break down the meat and make it a lot more tender. And I'm just going to set that right on top of there like that. Just like that. I'm going to get this out here. There, there we go. There, now that should lay like that. Now I have the oven preheated to 425 degrees. Get some of this out of here. Let me wash my hands real quick. Uh, to 425 degrees. And this is going to bake. I'm going to bake this at 425 for about 40, 45 minutes, and we'll check the internal temperature with uh, with our little thermometer here so I'm going to go you don't you don't need to cover this or anything let's get this out of the way you cook it you bake it uncovered just keep an eye on it you bake it uncovered like I said for about 40 to 45 minutes so into the oven this is going to go on the medium rack we want to put on medium rack and like I said bake uh, a lot of what a lot of people do will uh, bake it for 20 minutes and then put scallions around it and then bake it for another 25 more minutes but all together I think I'm just going to let it cook at about uh, 
we'll check it and I'll check the internal temperature. So I'm gonna out of breath. I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna set the timer for 40 minutes. So that'll remind me to come back and check it. Okay, so we're gonna set this for 40 minutes. And there we go. And I'll be back with you and we'll show you uh, how it's looking and what's happening. Okay, so stay with me and I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's time to check this chicken. So, now you want to go into the deepest part of the thigh, the thickest part. Go right in there. Let's see what we got. Uh, some people want to be 150. I like to go around 160 because it is poultry. So, let's see what we got here. We are right at, how do we turn the light on on this thing? It's dropping quick, but it was at 160 even. So, we're going to bring this out. And all them drippings, you see that? All the drippings in there, that's what I'm going to make my gravy with. Now, I'm not going to do that on this video because it is about cooking chicken. So, now like I said, I'm going to let that rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, guys, this is how we're going to do this. Okay, first you're going to want to just cut your, right, down through there. See that? Oh, look at them juices. one I put it on a different pan because I'm going to make my gravy in the other pan there's two now this one just cut it right down the middle if my knife is sharp enough which I doubt So I'm going to have to do a review on a knife. Let me uh, I didn't get it straight in the middle. There we go. Lovely. And you can serve that up however you want it. So there you go. That's your chicken, guys. Just remember to let this rest before you cut it. And there you go. Shea Bear's chicken. You know, uh, it's not my idea to cook it like that. It's just you know, we'll do some more cooking videos if you like, and I'll put a playlist up, and we'll do stuff like this. I still want to do one in the ground for you. Maybe we'll do a turkey, we'll do some ham. We can do some stuff like that. So, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate uh, all your support and everything. So, um, just have fun with it. Make it how you want it. So, that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Here, let's get you over here. There we go. You want to go on medium rack. On your medium rack. Which that's not medium.
blooper.